is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys enjoyed the NBA draft the other night. Uh, before the draft started, we had an interesting trade. TJ Warren going to the Indiana Pacers. And I kind of wanted to do another Pacers rebuild because they got TJ Warren. And I kind of want to go a different route than signing DeAndre Russell. It is very possible to, uh, that the Pacers do sign DeAndre Russell in real life. But I'm not going to be doing that in today's video because I kind of already did a D-low Pacers rebuild. So if you guys want to see that, go ahead and check it out. But other than that, let's go ahead and... And uh, figure this all out. So I have most of the picks um, updated. Honestly, some of the players weren't even on the draft class that I have, but most of them were just second rounders. And then uh, other, the one first round pick that was not in this draft class was Jordan Poole for the Warriors. And I'm not gonna literally kill myself over it. So I mean, there's no reason to get upset too much about it. So a lot of the other players were second round picks that uh, just weren't there. I mean, some of these rosters won't be. Like, these second rounders won't be completely accurate, but eventually we're going to abort this file anyway, and then I'll end up just downloading, and I'll probably end up updating. Once free agency starts, I'll probably end up updating uh, free agents as we go, and then, if so, of course, when free agency all ends, we'll probably just abort this file anyway. But anyways, other than that, guys, we have uh, this roster here with the Pacers, and uh, they drafted Goga. They drafted, uh, I don't know if they drafted anyone else. Did they draft someone else? And Jalen Leck, I think, as well. So, yeah, so the Pacers are um, looking pretty good going forward. Goga, a very, I saw a very sad picture yesterday where none of the media was paying attention to him at all. They were all surrounded by TJ Leaf, or not TJ Leaf, by uh, Zion Williamson. I don't know why I said TJ Leaf. But then, uh, of course, they did make that trade for TJ Warren, which they basically got him for free which is awesome for the Pacers. So I think he's definitely going to be the replacement for either Bojan or Thaddeus Young. I'm leaning more towards Thaddeus Young, though. But other than that, guys, let's go ahead and see if we can rebuild this Indiana Pacers team to a new um, contender in the Eastern Conference because we all know Eastern Conference definitely has some contenders there. The Celtics might fall out a little bit, but we definitely can become contenders with a nice offseason. So... Let's try to do that for this team. So I'm going to renounce most of these players, probably Bojan as well, just to give us that extra money, about $34 million. And then we got Aaron Holiday, who I actually might start. I don't know yet, though. We'll see. Jalen Leck as well, Oladipo at the shooting guard. We have TJ Warren at the small forward, the power forward. So TJ Warren's either going to play the small forward or the power forward. I don't care which. And the center spot, we all know, is locked down, and it's good. So point guard is to address in a forward position we need to address. So... Let's see what's out there. I signed Bojan Bogdanovic back in the last video. I probably might end up doing that again today, but we'll see. Uh, as far as a point guard is concerned, we could get Kimball Walker. Um, let's see what else we got there. So Kimball Walker is someone we could go out and get. We could get D'Angelo Russell, but like I said, I already kind of did a D-low rebuild, so I might stay away from that. Malcolm Brogdon. I like the idea of possibly signing Malcolm Brogdon as our starter. Uh, it actually does make somewhat sense, and he's not that expensive either. So I might actually do that. D. Wade's sitting out in free agents demanding free agency demanding 80. Uh, he's an 81 overall, demanding 13 million dollars. I need to update that definitely. Uh, but other than that, let's go ahead and let's see. So we have Malcolm Brogdon right now. I'm gonna go ahead and give him an offer because I kind of want to bring him to the team for four years. He'll be pretty cheap. And then as far as the small forward position is concerned, we get still Chris Middleton from the Pacers as well, uh, or from the not from the Pacers. Uh, let's try for Chris Middleton uh, from the Bucks. And, of course, we'll offer Bojan his contract as well. So, let's see if we can get... Okay, so if we can get Malcolm Brogdon and Chris Middleton, steal those two from the Bucks, that's just going to make us contenders in the East or a little bit better contenders. So, that's going to look good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move Brogdon to point guard, though, I think. And then... Uh, or we can move... Or we could keep him at the shooting guard and just have him come off the bench. Might do that. And might start Aaron Holiday. We're going to have Chris Middleton, the small forward. TJ Warren to play the power forward. Center spot's good. We still have three million dollars left over so i mean we could sign like a you know a decent point guard to start now not really maybe not so maybe we can't what else is out there let's see i, I might just leave it so i could start malcolm brogdon or i could just have aaron holiday come off the bench you know what i'll do i think i'll have malcolm brogdon start this year have, send aaron holiday to the g league and jalen and then i think we'll uh have aaron holiday start next year and then have what's his name come off the bench so Wesley Matthews, let's just sign a backup shooting guard real quick. Jeremy Lamb off the bench actually wouldn't be too bad at all. So let's go ahead and sign Mr. Jeremy Lamb. Never mind, he goes to the Jazz. I guess we can go with J.J. Redick. That would be fine with me. So that's all I'm going to do for this offseason, guys. I think this is going to look like a pretty good team. 
uh, like I said, I kind of want to be a little bit different than the last video. So Malcolm Brogdon went down one, JJ Redick went down one, which is not surprising. But like I said, Malcolm Brogdon will start this year and we'll go ahead and have Aaron Holiday start next year after he develops in the G League a little bit more. And yeah, I like where this team is going, guys. So let's go ahead and sim it to the next season and let's see how this team does. Hey guys, so with the record of 36 and 46, I definitely was not expecting a playoff spot. But nonetheless, we did make the playoffs the first season. The bonus actually won six man of the year, which was nice as well. But here are your player stats. We had about, uh, let's see, 18.5 from Victor Oladipo, 15.4 from TJ Warren, and 14.5 from Chris Middleton. So yeah, this didn't go as, uh, as planned. I expected this team to be a lot better than it was, but just didn't go as I expected it to. But that's all right. So we have some moves we can make, and uh, we'll be fine. 2-0, and the Toronto Raptors are probably going to sweep us, which that's okay. 3-1, uh, 3-2. Can we come back from... Okay, 3-3. Three, three. Okay, no. We almost came back and uh, won in seven games, which would have been wild. But we have Toronto and Detroit, Philly and Boston, Houston and Los Angeles, and Utah and Oklahoma City. So um, definitely let's see what's going on here. Oklahoma City beats the Jazz. We got the Houston Rockets and the Oklahoma City Thunder. Then we got the Raptors and the Celtics. Raptors win in five games. And then we got the Raptors and the Rockets. You know, your basic stuff. And they win in four games. Cool. All right, so... Let's move on to the offseason now and let's make some stuff happen, right? So let's get into the draft lottery and let's see what we got here. Um, not seeing anything. What pick do, are we going to have? We have the 15th pick, which is right outside the lottery, which is great. Nate McMillan was all right, but I actually think... Uh, do I want to keep Nate McMillan or do I want to fire him? Uh, let's go with Jacob Underwood because we're going to have quite a bit of def defense, I think, in our starting lineup. So... Defense will be fine, and he has some good ratings. But we have the 15th pick in the second round, eighth pick. So what I think I'm gonna do that second round, eighth pick, I'm gonna get. Oh, we have gonna we're gonna have Goga as well coming off the bench for us. He's an 80 overall now. Uh, JJ Redick might actually trade him. Mm, yeah, I think I'm gonna trade JJ Redick as well. Trade him with Dougie McDonough buckets, and let's see what we can get for these two. Uh, we're gonna have Malcolm Brogdon coming off the bench. That's why I'm doing this. So. Uh, we could just grab some first rounders. We could grab Ricky Rubio, which is a rumored target for the Pacers this offseason. I don't know how much I like that for the Pacers. He is a good player, but he's not a guy that's going to get you over the hump. You know what I mean? So uh, we could get KCP, uh, first round picks, Kola Miritich, Cam Johnson, Gorgie Dang, first round. So I think I might just grab um, Oregon Hachimura, but... I think I might just grab some like this pick and then we'll get we'll go ahead and just give Cleveland Dougie McDonough buckets and JJ Redick and then we'll go ahead and dump their salary and that way we'll have more money this free agency and then we have the 15th pick overall on the second round eighth pick is there anything else I want to do with that I like everybody on the roster Chris Middleton though I'm curious to see what I could get for Chris Middleton if I can upgrade we get Bojan the seventh pick and Bobby Portis Clarkson Lou Williams second pick overall um that's definitely intriguing, guys. I might actually do that. Josh Richardson, Nikola Vucevic, the fifth pick, Mohamed Bamba. We don't need a center. Clint Capella, Aldridge, um, Wiggins, Nasir Little. Nasir Little, my poor and Trailblazers. I'm going to go with that number two pick, I think. I'm going to think I'm going to do this trade. So we're going to move up to number two, getting rid of Chris Milton. Uh, I don't know why, but every time I have Chris Milton on my team, it doesn't seem like I do good. Lamella Ball goes number one overall, which is what I wanted because I want this guy that's going to be my starting small forward where is he at let's go in and draft this guy right now and that is anthony edwards let's go out of georgia so that's a good pick for me and then uh we have another pick yeah we have two second rounders so uh two high second rounders at that so let's go ahead and take both these selections as well uh devin dodson backup point guard i'm gonna go with charles and then let's go with um who else we got out here and let's see uh devin dodson still there as well so i'll go ahead and take him out of kansas and that's going to be a good draft for us, I think, guys. So let's sign. Um, yeah, let's sign both of them. They're, you know, not bad prospects. I'm going to send them both to the G League. Aaron Holiday and Jalen Leck. And then qualifying offers. It's a bonus. <coughs> <I'm about> to... <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I just had a major cough hit me. And I really did not want to, like, spam the mic with uh, my coughing. So I kind of just stopped the video real quick. Um, other than that though, this offseason, I don't think we're going to do a whole lot. I think the big thing is just bringing back Sabonis. I think that's the only thing I really am wanting to do. So let's go ahead and just bring this man back. I mean, I don't really want to let him walk. We could either, um, 
Let's see. Uh, hopefully it doesn't do that stupid glitch that it always does, and it doesn't. Okay, so I would say we can either eventually trade him or trade Miles Turner. Either way, I don't know what we're going to do because Goga is here now. We're probably going to have to move Sabonis to the power forward to be the backup coming off the bench, or he might even start. TJ Warren might be the backup now, man. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I like this roster a lot. We're going to have Aaron Holiday and Jalen Leck play that backup point guard. going to send Dotson to the G League and probably send... Uh, not TJ Warren, uh, send Charles there as well. We're gonna have a depth uh, center spot, and then uh, we basically want, to, yeah, we basically have a nine-man rotation. So I'm gonna go ahead and see my to the end of next year. Hopefully, we have a way better record than 36 and 46. I'm expecting us to. So let's see what happens. Like this guys, we won one more game than last year. Didn't make the playoffs this time. So yeah, this team is not going the way this, you know, this rebuild's not going as I expected. We haven't made the playoffs. So we're gonna have to make that push this offseason. We're gonna have to make it. So we have the 11th pick overall. And unfortunately, what I might be doing is, let's go ahead and get a good head scout. Sign, uh, I guess a good assistant coach. Uh, oh, he's not interested because he is a, you know, a, a good, he's too good. No, no, no. All right, sign him. And then for the NBA draft, we have the 11th pick overall. So I really don't wanna do this, but do I want to, let me see what I want to do. Let's Miles Turner. Sabonis is going to be a 77 overall, right? Or I mean, not a 77, 85 overall. So they're both 85s. We can keep them. Goga is an 82. We can keep both of them or we could trade one of them. Now this is uh, really hard to do. I don't even know which one I want to keep. So I could go with Miles Turner. Could, you know what? I think Sabonis. I think I might trade Sabonis. And let's just see what we can get for him. I'm hoping we can get something really good for him. Uh, Al Horford. Josh Hart, Josh Green, Sergi Baca, Willie Collie Stein, Moody, Aaron Gordon, Mike James, Malik Beasley. But I don't know if it's all Sabonis' fault, you know? Precious. I don't really don't I don't know, man. I really don't know what I want to do. So I mean, unfortunately the draft isn't gonna help us right now. Cause uh I mean it, I mean we can sign him, of course, but it's not gonna be anything major to our rotation right now. TJ Leaf and Jalen Leck are going to be free agents. So let's go ahead and try to see if we can bring them back. We have negative $28 million. Oh, the a free agent. That's important. And then we can go ahead and renounce those two. So um, as far as I'm concerned, we have Aaron Holiday and Dotson at the point guard position, which is good enough for me. The Leck might just be gone. Brogdon is at the shooting guard right now. Anthony Edwards is a small forward. TJ Warren and Kai Jones at the power forward. Then we have all these centers that we could do with. So... Like I said, we definitely need to probably do something here. What I think I'll end up doing is moving TJ Warren back to his natural position at the small forward. And he goes up to 87 overall. And then so TJ Warren and Anthony Edwards will run the small forward. The power forward is wide open now. And uh, Sabonis was starting there, which I don't want to move him there necessarily. So what I think I want to do is probably try to trade for a very good power forward. So let's try for it. I don't know if it's gonna work. And of course we wanna bring Oladipo back, but let's see what kind of power forward. We could probably get Kevin Love easily. But I don't know if that's a player I want. Jaron Jackson Jr. would be cool too. Uh, Jaron Jackson, like I said, would be cool. Middleton, Serge Ibaka, Conley, Derek Favors, um, Marvin Bagley, Jabari Parker, mm, Porzingis. Obviously, it would be like absolutely amazing, but we probably can't get that done. Blake Griffin, Pascal Siakam. I get this dude a lot, but man, if I could get him, I think it would just help us. Every time I have him on my roster, though, something goes well. So the question is, do I want to trade some bonus? Yeah, I think I'm going to trade some bonus. I would rather trade some bonus. Okay, they don't want to do that. So let's give them this guy as well, and they still don't want to do it. How about I throw in our first rounder? They still don't want to do it. How about another first rounder? No, they still don't want to do it. How about another first rounder? And I'm not offering four first round picks for Pascal. I just can't do that, dude. I just can't. What about Kai Jones as well? Okay, so just like that. Oh, how many first rounders did I trade? Two? Eh, that's not too bad. It could have been a lot worse. So we got Pascal Siakam. I don't know how much that's going to help us, but hopefully it does. Aaron Holiday, Brogdon, small four positions. Good. Dock on the power forward and we have our backup center now. So I mean, yeah, this is basically what it's gonna be guys um, Hopefully this does it. Hopefully this is the move that gets us into the playoffs Finally probably is gonna focus on getting Victor Oladipo back and that's probably all we're gonna need. So I mean 
yeah that's all we're gonna need so i'm gonna just give victor oladipo his money and let's sign him up bring him to the team back to the team and uh we'll be good there so oladipo welcome back to the indiana pacers gonna sign him up hopefully this last time this last season we finally make the playoffs in our very good seat in the eastern conference and we can have a successful last season in this video so let's see how it goes down and we're gonna have those two coming back as well hopefully this is the team that gets it done or 2k might just hate me so in the last season we won 49 games but i will definitely take that over missing the playoffs and we're the first seed this time around so that's awesome so this is going to be a, definitely a better way to end the video than just totally missing the playoffs in the whole video so we had 21 points for victor low depot anthony edwards had 18 points aaron holiday had 16 tj warren with 15 pascal at 11 so yeah i definitely liked how i constructed this team um trading some bonus definitely sucked but i mean like i said it definitely helped us make the playoffs i guess we're up 1-0 2-0 can we beat brooklyn in four games nope 2-1 please don't lose to brooklyn in the first round just don't do it 2k 3-2 can we win in six nope seven game series let's go to simcast and hopefully we can get past the brooklyn nets here because uh i definitely don't want to lose in the first round here i mean we've done plenty of losing in this video so far so let's go ahead and just take care of business looks like we're gonna do that 118 uh 123 malcolm brogdon was huge and now we're facing the toronto raptors who beat us in the very first season so it'd be poetic just if justice if we could beat them here uh they're up 2-1 on us though 3-1 okay now we gotta go to simcast so now we're at home for game five so hopefully we can come back from a 3-1 deficit and make it to the eastern conference finals because this is what we wanted we wanted to be Eastern Conference contenders. We come back in the end, 107 and 112. Edwards was nice in that game. Now, if we can force a game seven, I think we'd be in a very good situation to win this whole series. So let's see if we could do that. And uh, they're taking the lead early. We can come back if we really believe in ourselves. 119 and 120. Oh my gosh, guys. Holy moly. Anthony Edwards had 20 points, guys. That's going to be the end of the video, though. So Toronto and Orlando, Portland and Phoenix, and I feel a cough coming soon. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video early before I start coughing again. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. This is Crushables, and I'm saying peace.